Hi, my name is Jonica Inch. I am the Office Chief for the Office of Rapid Response Disease Investigation at the Arizona Department of Health Services. In my career in public health, there's a critical intersection between healthcare and investigative work within public health. When I was a little girl, I always thought that I wanted to be a detective and loved reading murder mysteries and pretending that I was a detective myself. My mom is also a nurse practitioner, and when I was younger, I would go with her uh, to the nursing homes and help her on the weekends with some of the work that she did with her clinic and patients as well, and that's where I really fell in love with healthcare as a whole. Now in my day-to-day -day work, I really get to be uh, an investigator and a detective just on a different level within the public health realm. When I first started at ADHS, it was the end of 2019, and I was working to get settled into my role here as a senior communicable disease investigator within the STI control program. I think everyone in public health was thrown this infectious disease that none of us could have ever predicted. I never could have imagined that I would be leading the COVID-19 case investigation and contact tracing team for ADHS. With contact tracing, we're looking to find where people were potentially exposed to COVID-19 and making sure that they're not exposing others. We then formed the contact tracing team. We were really at this point trying to develop all of the critical structure for COVID-19 contact tracing. We were developing all of our scripts and surveys and putting together a program to be able to uh, assist our local health jurisdictions at the time. So contact tracing has actually been used for decades. What we're essentially trying to do is contact people who had been exposed to a case of COVID-19 and notify them of their exposure so that way we could recommend uh, quarantine and testing and provide education and resources as well. Obviously, there's a lot of mixed emotions when you're calling people for any communicable disease. Some people are in denial when they've received a diagnosis, and some people are very thankful for the work that we're doing. Some people have just expressed that without the work of public health and investigators, they may not have ever received that diagnosis and been able to uh, have better outcomes for their life. My career has definitely changed significantly since I first started working this response. I was on the investigator level and then uh, quickly moved into a management position, which at the time I was really nervous and hesitant to do, but I had a lot of cheerleaders along the way here at ADHS. Uh, a lot of my teammates and ADHS mentors reassured me that I could do the positions that I was really scared to apply for at the time. And I've really seen tremendous growth here at ADHS. With the COVID-19 response, every day was a new day coming into work. There were a lot of high priority activities that we had to complete on a daily basis on top of our normal jobs. I was working from sunrise to well beyond sunset. We had 12,000 cases a day coming into our queue to be investigated. There was a lot of times, obviously, when I doubted myself a lot of the time, um, and I really leaned on my coworkers and my mentors within ADHS to continue to remind me that the work that I was doing was really, really impactful and that I did have the skills to utilize, and I think that really allowed me to grow within my career here at ADHS. I honestly, looking back to the COVID-19 response as a whole has been truly astonishing and just the volume of work that our team overall has been able to accomplish. And when we look at some of the data reports and the hundreds of thousands of people that we've been able to contact, that is my proudest moment within public health. And I feel like I've really had the most uh, growth within my career during this time. There were a lot of dark times, but I think there's also been a lot of brightness. The difficulties have definitely made me stronger as a manager and a leader and being able to assist this team with the response overall. Working in public health has definitely been one of the most positive experiences in my life thus far, and I can truly say that I wake up every single day and I'm really excited to do what I do. I love the people that I work with. Our teams are so collaborative, not only within my office as a whole, but I also get to collaborate with people in other offices and other divisions as well. I work in public health because I truly love people and I love helping people. For the next generation of public health workers uh, and investigators, I would definitely tell them that the work that they are doing within public health is extremely critical work and the work that they're doing impacts lives within Arizona and the work they do is important.